Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a, <clears throat> excuse me, huge <laughs> Super Tarts order to show you. I got a bunch of potion packs. I got four different samplers. These samplers are huge. I really didn't even realize it until I got them in and I was like, holy moly. So this is going to be split up into two different videos. This video, I'm going to show you the potion packs and the Chris Melt sampler <clears throat> and the Wizard Wax sampler. And then in part two, I'm going to show you the Fright Night sampler, which is the biggest one. It has like 50 something cents. And I will show you the classic sampler in that video as well. <clears throat> so I don't want to make this a 30 minute video. So I am just going to jump right into it. I did get a sample and this is in strawberry rhubarb pie. It's a little pumpkin. I love this scent. This is just a really good scent from her. I'm really glad that I got it by itself as a sample because I got um, uh, some, I don't remember what scent it was, but it was strawberry rhubarb mixed with like almonds or something. So I'm glad that I was able to try that on its own. Okay, potion pack I got in coconut and I love the shape that she uses. I got a big cookie. I got a cotton candy. Um, there's like a little like Christmas light. There's a bunch of stuff in these. I think they're so cute. I really like her potion packs. I think these are just adorable. This coconut is really, really nice too. It's like a really sweet, <clears throat> mellow coconut. And I got these potion packs um, for the sole reason of mixing and blending and seeing what I like, trying out new scents, trying it with the Rose Girls Mini Melters. So <clears throat> next one that I got is Lemon Curd. I've heard so many people talk about her Lemon Curd. And there's like an umbrella, a scallop, a heart, vampire teeth, a little flower. This one's really cute. Oh, it's just so amazing. I love, 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 love lemon scents. The next one that I grabbed is fresh strawberries. I was hoping that this was the strawberry one that I really liked in Happy Birthday. It's not. But it actually really does like smell like fresh strawberries. So well, that one's a really good one too. I got a heart, scallop, um, a little grubby up here, ice cream cone, a little skull. Super cute. The next one that I got was Sweetberry Crisp. I had high hopes for this one. I don't like it. I just don't. I'll pass it along to somebody else or put it in a DSH or something. There's just something in here that I don't like. To me, it smells like a medicine that I used to have to take when I was a kid. But I got a little kitty with glitters on it, donut. It looks like, like a little orange slice, a grubby, a little ice cream, little Lego. I think that's adorable. All right, next one that I got was Vanilla Bee Noel. This one is just amazing. There's a big robot. There's a caterpillar. Um, a little gingerbread, a strawberry, there's pickles up here. These are just the cutest things. I'm going to show you the pickles. Look how cute that is. I just love her shape. Again, natural, just straight to the point. Vanilla Be Noel, I got that for blending. Next one is zucchini bread. I got a big Lego and a gingerbread man. It looks like a little cake bite. These are just so adorable. I can't get over some of her shapes. Her zucchini bread is amazing. It is so strong. It's, oh God, that's going to be so good. Next one is Starbucks coffee. I want to try this. I wanted to try this on its own. I have it mixed with a couple things and some of her clamshells. But this one's a really good scent too. I wish it was a little bit stronger. To me, it seems like kind of weak for a coffee scent, but I, I can warm it up and see how it does. If anything, I can mix it with something else. Next one is maple syrup. I never tried maple syrup before in like any form at all. So I just wanted to try it and see how it would be. It's nice. It's not a super strong scent, but that's okay because I can use it to mellow down like a strong cinnamon scent or something. Next one is pink sugar. They're all pink. I love this. Big Easter egg skull. A seashell it looks like. I got a little crab and a pineapple. These are just, I know, I keep saying it, but they're just so adorable. Her pink sugar, I think, is a little bit different from a lot of other vendors' pink sugar. I do like it, though. I think it'll go good with Vanilla Bean Noel or zucchini bread or you can, you can pretty much put pink sugar in anything. Then I got French Baguette, and I got this one to blend with the lemon curd because I love lemon bread scents. There was a vendor a long time ago that used to make it. I don't even know if she's open anymore. 
but it was really good. This is really nice too. I really like her bread scent. I think it would go great with the lemon curd and like maybe a vanilla bean Noel or pink sugar. Okay, so the first sampler that I will show you is the Chris Melt that came in this bag. And I'm trying not to crinkle too much, but one of the things that I really love about her samplers is that she puts the scent description on the back of the bags for each and every scent. I think that is so helpful and amazing because I was prepared to have to like, you know, bring either a computer out here or have to write everything down. So I think that was really good. All right, so the first one here is A Christmas Story. Let me see if I could just do it this way. Um, hot orange Danish flaky pie crust, sweet cream, and sweet cinnamon sticks. I'm not going to smell each and every one of them because that, that'll just take way too long. This is going to be a long video to begin with. The next one is Frosty. And let's see if I can find it on here. I should have came more prepared for this. Sorry, guys. Um, let's see. Where is it? Oh, okay. Twisted Peppermint and Sugar Milk. And this one's really nice. I do like this one a lot. I'm pretty thrilled with that one, actually. All right, next one I got is White Christmas. And that is Peppermint, Frosted Cranberry, Serendipity, and Vanilla Bean Gelato. I'm not even in focus here. That's a really good one, too. I really like that one. And I'm the type of person that will melt Christmas scents all year round. Like, it doesn't matter to me what time of year it is. I'm at Peppermint and Pumpkin and stuff all year round. Next one is Polar Express, and this one is creamy, slow, simmered hot chocolate topped with warm toasted marshmallows. This is definitely a favorite out of this out of this sampler. I really do like that one a lot. I love her chocolate scents. The next one is Jingle Way, and this is Tinsel, Satsuma, and Cotton Candy. I don't like tinsel I really don't like it at all and I really don't like satsuma so um I'll find a different home for that one the next one I have this one already this is die hard which is pine needles and sugar cookies I love sweet pine scents so I'm glad that I have an extra cube of that one this next one is bishop's wife and this one is Twisted Peppermint, Driftwood, and ben Vanilla Bean Noel. I kind of forgot what this one's like. That's a good one. You get mostly that peppermint. And I do like peppermint scent, so that's a good one. Next one is Family Stone. And this one is... I'm trying not to, like, move away from the camera too much because I notice that my voice, like, goes in and out. Um, where was this one? Why am I not seeing it? Oh, there it is. Cinnamon glazed vanilla bean. This is such a creamy vanilla scent with just a hint of warm cinnamon. I absolutely agree. I do like that one a lot. Planes, trains, and automobiles. And this one is... Where was it? I just saw it. Oh, creamy spiked eggnog and apple cider. Oh, get this one. Yeah, I remember that one. That one's really good, too. There's just so many. I can't remember which ones I liked and which ones I didn't. Next one is Grandma's House. And that one is fresh baked apple pie, chestnuts roasting on an open fire, and creamy brown sugar. This one's called The Holiday. And this one is bayberry sprigs, cinnamon sticks, clove, and peppermint candy. There's a lot going on in this one. I like it, though. I do like the majority of the scents that I got in this Christmas one. And this one also I have already. This is Nutcracker. I do forget the scent description for this one, though. Um, Yognog, which is buttery brown sugar, hint of strawberry and clove, hazelnut Christmas cookies, and whipped cream cappuccino. This is a good one. There's so much going on. But it's nice. It's a really, really nice scent. I love the looks of this one. This is Christmas Vacation. I love the colors on it. Christmas Vacation is freshly cut Christmas tree and crisp snowy peppermint. I love mint and pine together, so that's a really nice one. Then I got the Santa Claus, 
And that's creamy eggnog, spicy fireball dusted with nutmeg, and warm sugar candy, uh, warm sugar cane cookies on the side. This one I love. This is Meet Me in St. Louis. And this one is graham crackers, sugar milk, and creamy eggnog. This one is just really, really nice. I, like, you get so... It's just like a really strong bakery scent. That's basically what I'm trying to get out here. And then this one's called Prancer. And this one is an amazing blend of green mistletoe and tinsel. And then it says this is so good next to it. This one I don't mind. This one you don't get much of that tinsel. So I do, I think I will enjoy that one. This is Elf. I don't even need to read the scent description because a lot of people have this. This is candy canes, candy corns, and syrup. And there's also like a bubbly note to it, like a soda note. I like that one. I mean, I'm not crazy about the fizzy background, but I'm kind of curious to see how... I've never warmed a fizzy scent before, so I'm kind of curious to see how that one will go once I melt it. This one is Holiday Inn, and this one is Sugared Plum Sweet Berry Jam and Vanilla Bee Noel. This is an amazing scent. If you guys haven't tried that one, try it. It's really, really, really good. This one's called A Wonderful Life, and this is peppermint, frosted grapefruit, orange, pink sugar, and vanilla ice cream. This one's Scrooged, and Scrooge is, this is a great combination of two very loved types, Weather Weather and Cactus and Sea Salt. I don't really know how I feel about this one. It's okay. It's not something that I would never, ever melt, but it's not something that I would, like, you know, I have to melt that right now. I need so much more of that. Okay, this one's Jack Frost. I love the blue. I really like her blue wax. I think it's just really pretty when it melts. Uh, let's see here. Herbal Lavender, Fresh Mint Leaf, and Lemon Curd. I thought that sounded like a really interesting blend. I like it. You get a lot of that lemon curd in there. Okay, this next one is called Misfits. And this one is, let's see... Where are you? White clouds, fresh spearmint, and cucumber. This one's called Bad Santa, and that's combining naughty cinnamon sticks, nice peppermint bites, and satin sheets. I remember you get a lot of satin sheets in that one. This one I also have. This one I wasn't too crazy about. This is the gingerbread, like, dunked in fresh coffee or something. I wasn't crazy about that one. This one's Nightmare Before Christmas. Trying to find the scent description. Sorry, guys. Uh, Herbal lavender, sweet candy canes, and fluffy cotton candy. Again, it sounded interesting. Yeah, it's a good one. Um, when I bought these, I kind of just like read through the descriptions really fast, picked out the ones that I thought that I would like the most, and threw them in my cart and checked out. <laughs> That's really all I did. Okay, Yukon, which is spiced oranges, tangerines, apples, and vanilla beans. So that's a nice fruity one. This one is Alfie. And Alfie is fluffy marshmallows, candy canes, and Christmas cookies. This is another really nice one. I do like it a lot. Oh, it smells so good. Up next, oh, did it backwards. <laughs> Up next is Good Grief. And that one is, let's see, Christmas tree, winter candy apple, and basil. Now, I never even heard of basil before, in a scent. But you get mostly... Um, Winter Candy Apple in that one. And I do like Winter Candy Apple. This one's Love Actually. I know I really like this one too. Uh, this one's Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Sweet Lavender Cream, and Vanilla Bee Noel. I never would have thought to mix pumpkin and lavender together. But it's really good. I really actually like that one a lot. I could see myself probably even getting a band bag in that one. This is Crank's Christmas. And that one is Sweet Gingerbread Cookies and Cotton Candy Frosting. I can't remember if this one was like a spicy one or not. Yeah, it's that. I don't. Th I think it's just her gingerbread scent that I'm not a big fan of. Okay, then I got Rockettes. And Rockettes is, let's see, Marshmallow Macchiato Chocolate Chip Cookies. I forgot. Yeah, this one's really good too. She just has a really, really nice, strong chocolate scent. Let's move some of these out of the way. I might have to do this in three parts. Oh, my goodness. All right, this one is P.F. Chang's, and this is another favorite of mine. Um, oh, the writing is so little. Okay, let's see. 
P.F. Chang's Flaky Pecan Rugula? I don't know. Cookies dusted with a hint of cinnamon, warm creamy chala bread, and a buttery brown sugar. I'm sorry, guys. I probably just butchered the crap out of that. But again, this is probably my favorite one out of the, the Christmas sampler. I love that one. All right, this one is Grinch. I know this has toffee apples in it. Let's see. Um, toffee apple crunch, spicy cinnamon donuts, and toasted hazelnuts topped off with a dollop of sweet buttercream. Yeah, that was close. <laughs> yeah, he's a good one. I like that one. I see a lot of people talking about this one, too. This is abominable. I always have the hardest time trying to say that. <laughs> that one is mistletoe, buttermint candies, and vanilla bean champagne. And the last one in this sampler is... Miracle on 34th, and this is probably one of my favorites as well. Uh, this one is sweet, fresh, fallen leaves and creamy pumpkin pie topped with toasted marshmallows. I love this one as well. Okay, I'm going to do this in three parts because I don't want to make this a 45-minute long video. So, that is the end for this video. I guess I'm going to do it in three parts. I don't want to take up too much time or anything. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.